The Mohunk Mountain House sits on a mountaintop wrapped in a forest inside a nature preserve. I always think of the property like a donut. The whole donut, uh, 1,200 acres. That's Mohonk Mountain House property. The land that surrounds us is an additional 8,000 acres. That's known as the Mohonk Preserve. The Mohonk Preserve was once part of the hotel property and still boasts the original gatehouse. But in the 60s, the Smiley family placed 8,000 acres of mountains and meadowlands in a protective trust. Today, it is the largest private nature preserve in New York State. The Mohonk Preserve, arguably more famous than the hotel itself, known the world over for the Shawangunk Ridge. This is probably next to Yosemite in California, the most popular climbing area in the country. John Ross moved to the area when he was a young man, drawn by these dramatic cliffs of quartz with the complicated name. We just called it the Gunks. Mahong Preserve is the home of gunks climbing. We're looking along the spine of the Shawangunk Ridge, and it's a 1,400 mile long geologic feature. Michael Rodolfo is the naturalist at the Mohonk Mountain House. He's brought me up to the sky top tower for a little perspective. On a clear day, one can see five states. Looking down on the hotel, Rodolfo tells us Mohonk Lake is one in a chain of what are known as sky lakes. They're referred to as sky lakes because they're fed only by precipitation. It's rare to have one lake on top of a mountain, and here we have five. To get up to Sky Top, there's an easy way and a hard way. Guess which one Michael chose for us. Wow, this is amazing. The Labyrinth, Mohonk's infamous rock scramble. Probably 100,000 people come through here in the summer. A geological funhouse. The Labyrinth is a mile-long maze of tight corridors and open slides. Yeah, this rock is just hard as diamonds, probably the hardest rock on earth, I'm told. The final ascent brings us to what's known as the crevice, a 125-foot crack in the mountain that goes straight up. Luckily, there are ladders for those of us with no mountain goat in our blood. I shouldn't have had dessert. Skytop is where Robin Gullickson got her first glimpse of the Mohonk Mountain House. Didn't know what I was getting myself into in terms of the topography. A student at the local state university in New Paltz, she hiked up from the valley below. Not knowing what was on the other side, and once we did get to the summit and look down upon this beautiful structure, I was awestruck. It was just um, very moving and um, it changed my life. Indeed it did. Robin ended up working at the hotel after graduation and dating a handsome fellow in the ski shop named Gullickson, only to learn later his mother was a smiley. Now we're in our fifth generation, so I'm the fifth generation of the family that's owned and, and operated this resort. Today, Eric Gullickson is president of Mohonk Mountain House. As with many family businesses, Gullickson says Mohonk is guided by a stewardship mentality rather than remote corporate mandates. We obviously have to be a profitable business, but we're not in a traditional cycle of a sale, an acquisition, and build the asset up for the next purchase and real estate transaction. That's not the, the intention here. Our intention is to go for another 150 years plus in family, independent family ownership. Descendants of Alfred and Albert Smiley can be found in many key positions around the hotel. Nina Smiley is director of mindfulness. She leads meditation sessions and takes small groups forest bathing. I like to think of it as mindfulness in nature. You're outdoors, you're present in the moment with all of your senses. Now, forest bathing may be a newfangled fad some places, but here at the Mountain House, the concept aligns perfectly with Albert and Alfred Smiley's foundational principles. Mohawk has always been about a place for recreation and renewal of body, mind, and spirit in a beautiful natural setting. A lot of our philosophy about being outdoors, connecting with other humans, doing the right thing, come from our Quaker roots. So that's why we have a parlor. That's why we have a dining room. We don't have a restaurant. This, this is why we're called Mohonk Mountain House. We're not a hotel. We're a home. Uh, it looks like 
looks like quite a place. Mm -hmm. And the trails and the carriage roads that we mentioned earlier mm -hmm. extend to the Mohawk, Mohonk Preserve, and it's an 85-mile network of trails. trails. Incredible. The trails are absolutely wow. beautiful as well. And as for those mountains, the Shawangungs, sometimes for reasons no one seems to understand, they're called the Sean Gums, but no matter what you call them, <laughs> about 50,000 people a year come to climb the gunks. The gunks. Mm -hmm. I, I'm going to stick with the gunks. the gunks. I like that. All right, coming up from local farms to Mohunks tables.